Hello guys, this is Switch of Rich TV and welcome back to my channel, the Tiffrol Stata Devotional guys. I would like to shout out the following person our channel na punta rito at nag-join sa devotional natin daanan na. Shout out and God bless to Ariel Apor, Mama Susan YT, Pamilagan Channel, Heart Punsalan, Connie Vlog, Michael Aborita, Psyche Karyon, Yangs TV, Retro Vlog, Manafol Kit, Molik Salamada, Honey Glaze Velos, Monique Kilimore, Yurika de la Cruz at sa iba na hindi na sabay na manood sa premiere pero napunta pa rin dito. God bless us all guys. Guys, sana we spend our time wisely kanina, no? Because it's Saturday at sana uh, we spend it together with our family. Kami, nagpunta kami sa isang beach resort sa Duca Bay. Kami-kami uh, lang mga pamilya. Dala yung mga anak ng mga kapatid ko. It's really important for us to really spend time with the family. Kaya, pamilya ang unahin natin, guys. Let's now proceed to our devotional. Let's open our Bible to Proverbs chapter 15. Verses 1 and 2, and then let's jump to verses 31 and 33. Still, guys, I'm using the devotional study Bible because the words you see is a simplified na maintindihan talaga natin. Okay, the word of the Lord in Proverbs 15, chapter 1, chap, uh, chapter 15, verses 1 and 2 says, A gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. The tongue of the wise commends knowledge. But the mouth of the fool gushes fully. And then let's proceed to verses 31 to 33. He who listens to a living, life-giving rebuke will be at home among the wise. He who ignores, ignores discipline despises himself, but whoever needs correction gains understanding. The fear of the Lord teaches a man's wisdom. And humility comes before honor. Amen and amen. Ang ganda ng ano guys, no? <clears throat> na binasa natin. Okay? Let's pray. Father God, teach us to release good words to other people and to people around us. And most especially to the members of the family. Okay? Teach us not to be fool, but instead, teach us to be fearful of you, O okay? God. Na you're not going to blame us, Lord God, for the later days, O oh Lord. Lord, I pray na yung relationship namin sa bawat isa, lalo lalo sa member ng pamilya, O oh God, will really be restored and even sa mga tao na nasa paligid namin. Teach us to be wise, O oh Lord God, in thinking things. Now we can glorify you. Yes, Lord, thank you that we can commit all these sins to you. In Jesus' name, pray. Amen and Amen. Okay, guys, our focus verse for this evening is found in Proverbs 15, 18, and it says, The one who is patient comes a quarrel. Okay, so the title of devotional is A Critical Reaction. Tough words hurt. Totoo naman, di ba? Okay. So, my friend, an award-winning author struggled with how to respond to the criticism he received. His new book had earned five-star review plus a major award. Then a respected magazine reviewer gave him a backhanded compliment, describing his book as well-written, yet still criticizing it harshly. Turning to friends, he asked, How should I reply? One friend advised, Let it go. I shared advice from writing magazines, including tips to ignore such criticism or learn from it even while continuing to work and write. Finally, however, I decided to see what has scripture, which has the best advice to all, has to say about how to react to strong criticism. The book of James advises everyone should be quick to listen and slow to speak 
and still to become angry. The Apostle Paul counsels us to live in harmony with one another. An interchapter of Proverbs, however, offer extended wisdom on reacting to disputes. A gentle answer turns away wrath, says Proverbs 15.1. The one who is patient comes a quarrel. Also, the one who heeds correction gain understanding. Considering such wisdom, may God help us hold our tongue. As my friend did, more than all, however, wisdom instructs us to fear of the Lord because humility comes before honor. Amen and amen. Hirap kayo, guys, no? <laughs> Lalong lalo ka kung i-criticize ka, no? Siguro we will play our up, but <clears throat> uh, what our devotional is telling us is to really be calm, no? Let's ignore yung mga negative. Ako, ang dami kong mga negative na ano, na, na, natanggap. Pero, if you are wise, ignore it, no? Kasi hindi ka makakakita ng away. Ignore it. Si Lord na bahala sa kanila, alam mo naman kung ano yung ginagawa mo, di ba? So, yun talagang ginagawa ko. Yes, masakit pero wala, ipray ko na lang sila. Kaysa mag pa yung away-away namin, di ba? So, yung ano ko is, uh, ano talaga? To be calm, no? Kalma lang, wag kang mag-react. Si Lord na bahala sa kanila. Okay. So, let's now proceed to the top question. What's your typical reaction when you, you're criticized? Well, <laughs> I play up but as much as possible, I wanted to calm down. Para hindi lalala yung, ano, yung gulo, di ba? Masakit kasi pag i-criticize ka, no? lalong-lalo na hindi totoo. Pero sila nang bahala sa kanila. Vengeance is not ours, it's God. No? Okay, second question. <clears throat> In a dispute, What's humble way you can guard your tongue? Ano? I'll go away with a dispute. Uh, uh, lalayo ako. I will not listen to them. Ba baya ako sila na mag-release ano, mga bad words. Sa kanila lang yun. Uh, total, hindi naman totoo. Kung totoo, yes, you will really be hurt. No? You will really be hurt. Kung totoo yun. Okay, guys, let's not pray. <clears throat> Dear God, When criticism strikes or a dispute hurts, guard our tongue in humble honor of you. Amen and amen. Yes, guys, let's humble ourselves before God. Guys, kung kalimang punta rito, manood, makinig <laughs> sa devotional. Hindi lang kaya risti bito, but para sa atin lahat. God bless us all because I know God will surely bless us ten times better. This again, it's Rich TV. Kita-kita tayo muli at hanggang sa muli. Paalam!